these leaked documents have come out. And sometimes with leaked documents like this, it's tough to tell whether it might have been a quasi-intentional leak where there's something the U.S. wants to get out there and pretend it shouldn't be out there. Well, you know, it is tough to know. For right now, it doesn't seem like it. These leaked documents show U.S. intelligence is involved in Israel's plan to attack Iran. And of course, Israel wants to, quote unquote, get back, get revenge at Iran for their attack on Israel. But of course, Iran's attack on Israel was in response to Israel assassinating many of their people. Yes, and it was, uh, a, it was an unprompted response. Yes, yes. Anything Israel does is unprompted. Anything Iran does, I'm sorry, anything Iran does is unprompted. Anything Israel does is heavily prompted and provoked. Mm -hmm. The U.S. is investigating a leak of highly classified U.S. intelligence about Israel's plans to retaliate against Iran. The documents dated October 15th and 16th began circulating online Friday after being posted on Telegram. They are marked top secret and have markings indicating they are meant to only be seen by the five eyes, which is Australia, Canada, New Zealand and the United States. In the United Kingdom and the United States, only uh, two of those actually have eyes in the name. So I think we need to change the name. But they describe preparations Israel appears to be making for, for a strike against Iran. One of the documents, which says it was compiled by the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, says the plans involve Israel moving munitions around. But of course, if it was compiled by the Geo National Spatial, <laughs> that means the U.S. is involved in the intelligence and information that Israel's using. Again, you know, with a lot of these things, it's like you assume it, but when you see the proof, these are all illegal. You're not supposed to be working with a country to commit war crimes. You're not mm -hmm. supposed to be working with Israel when they commit war crimes. So the receipts are a different thing than just kind of, didn't we think the U.S. was giving intelligence to Israel? Mm -hmm. half, half these articles, the main headline is about like, what are they going to do about these leaks? I mean, <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. going on here? People are snitching and tattling. Yeah, well, well, everyone should be furious that, oh, I don't know, the, Israel's getting ready to bomb Iran uh, or that the U.S. is helping them or that the admission in these documents that Israel has nuclear weapons they've never been held accountable for. Mm -hmm. That is what everyone should be fuming about. And instead, a lot of CNN, et cetera, will be like, how did there, this leak happen? Yeah. How, 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 uh, how did this leak come out of Israel nuking Iran's nukes? If that's... This is crazy, crazy stuff yeah. going on right now. Yeah, and that was, of course, a lot of the writing by mainstream media about Assange was, you know, uh, how dare he reveal our mm -hmm. mass corruption or our killing of innocent uh, civilians, et cetera. One of the documents also suggests something that Israel has always declined to confirm publicly, that the country has nuclear weapons. The document says the U.S. has not seen any indications that Israel plans to use a nuclear weapon against Iran. Now, this is one of the things that it could go either way, but it slightly makes me think this might have been an intentional leak, that Israel is at the point now that they kind of want everyone to know, we have nuclear weapons and we're talking about using them maybe you know I, I feel the same way maybe maybe not they're not they're not very good at deciding what to show the public as far as like uh when they uh killed yaya and wanted everyone to see and everyone was like damn that was pretty badass whoever that guy was oh right you're you're referring to to how he was still fighting as they're murdering him and yeah and well their, their specific decision to broadcast that to the to public review, yeah and the public's reaction which mostly seemed to be like whoa that was pretty impressive probably came down to who was supporting israel and versus who was calling this a genocide to begin with but yeah those those who feel this has been a genocide pointed to the fact that you have this leader of hamas fighting to the death while of course the leaders of the genocide are nowhere near the bombs falling or anything else true um, it was probably just my algorithm you're right you're right you're <laughs> Definitely yeah, right about yeah, that. yeah, and they appara apparently Israel dropped leaflets across Gaza, uh, showing the dead Yahya Sinwar, basically saying, you know, this is going to happen to all of you. Although, like you're saying, it seems like this propaganda is largely backfiring because it's it's out of their control, big time. Yeah, when a country has nuclear weapons, especially nuclear weapons that have not been inspected, you know, this this is there's a lot of treaties, international treaties around nuclear weapons and what should be done with them to make sure we don't all kill ourselves. And this is from. 
from uh, Sam Husseini's uh, Substack, his writing. Uh, I had him on a week or two ago. Aside from the doc's possible effect regarding the anticipated Israeli attack on Iran, this creates a major opening since both the U.S. and Israeli governments have refused to acknowledge the existence of Israel's nuclear weapons arsenal. Veterans for Peace wrote an in-depth letter to the administration, to the Biden administration, which began, the nation of Israel possesses a large nuclear weapons program. It is illegal under international law for Israel to have them. Because Israel has nuclear weapons and has tested them in the past, they have also violated U.S. federal law and are completely disqualified from receiving any military aid and related assistance from the United States. The U.S. president has no lawful discretion whatsoever to allow any military assistance of any form to be delivered to Israel. Existing military assistance arrangements must be immediately curtailed. This is saying it's completely illegal. It's also illegal by U.S. law to be aiding Israel as they commit war crimes, as they block U.S. and other aid from getting into Gaza. All of this is supposed to be illegal, and even the U.S. president is not supposed to be allowed to do it. But of course, none of that seems to matter. In the 1980s, before he was Israel's prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu allegedly was directly involved in an Israeli international smuggling ring that illegally acquired 800 nuclear weapons triggers from a U.S. firm. So it's good to know that Netanyahu, back in the 80s, was uh, involved in actually helping Israel get nuclear weapons illegally, uninspected nuclear weapons that the whole world is not allowed to see or look at or hold accountable. And you know, as back long, in the as long as he wasn't using tunnels to do those smuggling. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as it was right, exactly. As long as it was above ground, because tunnels are nefarious and dirty, but above ground is fine. Tunnels are anti-Semitic. <laughs> tunnels are anti-Semitic. We all know that. Is is very true. Which is why I had a big problem with Fraggle Rock. It just seemed <laughs> Yeah. aggressively <laughs> anti-Semitic. Back in the 80s, Netanyahu was also, that's back when he was American. He was, uh, yeah. he went to MIT, he grew up in Pennsylvania. Yeah, he was just, hanging out with Will Smith in Philly playing basketball. Yeah, yeah, changed uh, changed his name a few times, became good friends with Mitt Romney at Boston Consulting. But anyway, th whether it was intentional or not, these leaked docs yet again prove that Israel has nuclear weapons. We'd heard, there'd been whistleblowers, I can't remember which member of the Israeli government had come out several years ago and said that Israel has nuclear weapons, but there'd been whistleblowers, but this is like the second or third U.S. document that proves that Israel has nuclear weapons that they are denying uh, against all international law. 